Hello YouTube, PsychoFox here, and I picked up recently for my BBC Micro Model B, just like I did for my Commodore 64, an SD card interface. Uh, this plugs into the user port, this is called the Turbo MMC, and comes with a flash card, SD card, and actually comes with a file on it, I didn't think it did, but it came with a file on it called BMMB, with an absolute ton of games on it, and it just comes with all the little um, plastic things for mounting externally like I've done here or you can mount it internally and yeah that connects with this 20 way ribbon cable and it comes with a little EEPROM you just slot into a RAM socket inside and they both work together to give you um, like a flash hard drive the little EEPROM is uh, located roughly here inside the BBC so you just stick that in there in a socket and this costs 25 quid off eBay so what you do once you've got that plugged in you'll pretty much know straight away if it's working as you turn the BBC on you'll see it says Turbo MMC so all you have to do once you've got that plugged in is just type star EXEC exclamation mark boot and you'll get a games list come up with pretty much every BBC Micro game. Uh, Granny's Garden's not on it because I think that's still uh, copyright. But this is page one of 65, so you've got absolutely tons of games on here. So if I just pick, I'll pick this one because I've actually, um, I wasn't going to pick that one, but oh well, I was going to pick Arcade Action. But let's have a look at Aqua Attack. So that's Aqua Attack. Pretty much a um, centipede clone by the look of it. Don't even know how to fire. Return is fire. There we go. Z and X are left and right. Yeah, so, there we go, that's how quick it loads up games, so, pretty impressive. So if you just press break, go back to the menu, just do the old, um, star, exec, exclamation mark, boot. You'll get an error. No, that's not meant to happen. So you just do that again. Uh, exec. Don't know what I did wrong that last time. Obviously, did not like it. So there we go. Back to the menu. Let's pick a game I own. Arcade Action by Acornsoft. So it really does load them up straight away. So you got. Let's play Invaders. Which program do you want? Let's have skill level one. It's a nice big chunky colourful Space Invaders clone there. Yeah, so it really is that easy. Just have to crack open the BBC, stick that EEPROM in, connect up the cable and it works absolutely fine. I had a bit of um I had a bit of issue with mine that the actual uh, the actual ribbon cable was faulty. It took a bit of diagnosing but I'm sort of glad it didn't work really because with the um with the interface comes a CD and it's got um PDFs on it of all problem solving it tells you how to diagnose faults with the system and it is quite interesting I went through them all and removed the um, user VIA chip and the system VIA chip and fiddled about with the RAM sockets and run little basic tests to ascertain if the MMC EEPROM that comes with the interface was working correctly that will even tell you if it's seated correctly in the socket so and it passed all those so yeah it turned out it was just the uh, ribbon cable but that was quite interesting actually, learned a fair bit about this machine. So yeah, I've now got uh, two machines running off these SD cards. So it'll save a lot of room 
rather than having big cassette boxes everywhere. So yeah, that's my BBC Micro now, fully kitted out with an SD card. Thanks for watching.